and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video. Today we have update 33, the gravity simulation upgrade. And as you can see, they're um, annihilating Jupiter again. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing is gravity simulation. They've completely o overhauled their gravity simulation to increase accuracy, stability, and overall performance. Okay, that sounds like a major update. Many simulations can now be run at higher simulation speed. Try increasing the simulation speed of the solar system. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, what's new? Objects in tight orbits like the Hubble Space Telescope and the solar system are now stable at simulation speeds much higher than a few days a second. Chore choreography simulations are much more stable and create the desired patterns like this fish before falling apart as expected. A fish? How did you make a fish? Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, no. no trails. Oh, that's cool. How did they do that? Um. Okay. Um. That's actually really cool. Is it an infinite fish? Yeah, it's an infinite fish. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. I don't think it exists anymore. The fish got caught. Um. <laughs> then, bang. There we go. And it's gone. Yeah, it isn't coming back. All right. Um, next, next thing. We've added more controls to fine tune the balance between maximum simulation speed and gravitational accuracy under sim gravity advanced. Okay. Um, let's see. When you adjust the simulation speed using the buttons on the toolbar or time settings, you're actually adjusting the target simulation speed. What's the difference? The target simulation speed is how fast the simulation will try to run. The simulation speed in the toolbar shows how fast the simulation is actually running. Sometimes the simulation can't run as fast as the target simulation speed. Okay, yep, yeah, I already knew that. Try setting the target simulation speed to 4,500 years a second. Okay, um, this simulation speed is lower than the target simulation speed we set. This is because the high mathematical accuracy required to keep orbits from falling apart is not always possible to maintain at high simulation speeds. Alright, we try to set simulation speed limits that balance accuracy and performance automatically, but you can also manually adjust how the simulation speed is limited. Um, Wow, that's going fast. Um, also, um, okay. We try to set simulation speed limit to balance accurate. Okay. Expand and then accuracy profile. Accurate. The accurate profile just decreases the simulation speed limit to perform more accurate calculations. Alright. Open the list of accuracy profiles and now click performance. The simulation, the performance profile increases the simulation speed but decreases the accuracy. Even though our actual simulation speed increased even higher than before, it's still not the target simulation speed of 4,500 years a second. Alright. Oh, you can also see what's going on. Alright, uh, let's try turning off auto simulation speed to remove the speed limit. No! Okay, 
the target simu the actual simulation speed now matches our target simulation speed but the mathematical accuracy dropped so much that our otherwise stable solar system flew apart oops quite a big oops simulation settings like accuracy profile reset whenever you load a new simulation that's good um in general the more accurate the simulation is the more calculations and time are required to compute the gravitational interactions the faster simulation speeds mean less time and fewer computations re resulting in larger errors over time these errors grow and can tear apart what would what should be a balanced orbit the number of calculations that Universe Sandbox can make each frame depend dependence on the number of objects in simulation, the limits of your hardware, and a few other factors. Um, my hardware isn't the best to run Universe Sandbox, but it does the job pretty well. If calculations can't be made quickly enough to maintain accuracy, the simulation speed will be limited automatically. When you change the accuracy profile, you're actually changing the time step tolerance. Okay, I th think we have a pretty good balance already, but you can try adjusting the time step tolerance and other things under the advanced section to for more precise control over your simulation. All right. Um, hmm, I wonder what happens if we change the gravity a bit. Oh, okay. Again. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Wait, is the sun getting smaller? Hold up, pause it. Pause it. Um, let's do it like that. Oh, wow, okay, that is going fast. Oh yeah, see, because the accuracy profile is only at like 19 hours a second now, but let's make it even fast. Oh, okay. Um, that isn't meant to happen. That really isn't meant to happen. Um, now everything's going to start falling into the sun. Yep, the Kuiper belt. Okay, that's... Uh, um... Oops. Um, actually... Yep, yep. I think everything's gone. The sun's become a black hole now. <laughs> oh. The sun actually became a black hole. How big is this? Like, oh. Oh. I'm just spamming Beetlejuice because it's the only thing that would happen. Oh, okay. See how fast that lets us go. Okay, um. How fast is it moving? Okay, let's reload the simulation. And make the gravity a lot worse again. Okay. Um, now. Bang. Okay, everything is now.
Okay, let's see when Jupiter goes in. Every update, I manage to break the game in some way by discovering something new. I think that's a good thumbnail. Um, well. um, wait. Let's go to a random. Just a random asteroid called Flora. No, like, try to find something that's kind of a bit above the plane or below the plane. Solar system, that's really far away, but I guess that works. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know. good thumbnail and Mars has water now? What? Okay, so it goes up to Let's make it faster and faster until it. Oh yeah. Okay. The max simulation speed is about like days or something. Okay. Let's now. No. All right. So where's the? Wait. So where's the time? Accuracy profile performance. Um, and also, auto sim speed off. Where'd everything go? Okay. And now the. Wait, hold up. Gravitational constant. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what just happened? What just happened? Everything's a black hole. Okay. Uh, that's that's also a good thumbnail. Sure. All right. That's the thumbnail for today's video. But, anyways, with that, um absolute abomination um goodbye and i'll see you next week bye